All right, so part two, well, let's put it together. So, just gonna start slamming things in here. This is my Blu-ray drive. Take the little noties off. This is my floppy drive. Now some of these cases, this is a quick insert and release um, cage, but sometimes you would just slide this in and just uh, tighten the screws really tight. This is really convenient and nice, fast. Take our video card. it in, take our sound card, got a few PCI slots here, slide that bad boy in, and that's it for the slots, We've got, uh, you probably can't see that, we have two small slots left, oh yeah, we're going to want this guy in there, so let's see, so the processor usually fits in a very specific way, every time that I've seen anyways. It has a little pattern on the bottom, you just match the pattern. Same thing with the slots for memory. They have a specific notch in the memory module and it's uh, you have to align it to slot that you're putting it in. And notice I went with there's white and there's black. You usually want to pair these up together. You wouldn't want to do a white and a black. You usually want to do two whites and then if you had more memory you could put them in the blacks. Hard drive with an easy access sliding rail unit. This is where all your data goes. And this is the heat sink. It's going to help keep the uh, CPU nice and cool. Let's see, which way is this going? Got a little golded there. That's the uh, compound for cooling the CPU. It's all right. Sometimes these have clips on them uh, to keep them down, but you want to keep the uh, heat sink on top and connected, preferably with compound, um, so that it aids in cooling. This is how this one goes, but some of them, the older models that I've seen, uh, have clips on them, a little harder to actually access. And let's see, what else do we need? Power! This power unit, PSU, slides right in. Usually they're held together by screws. This one happens to have a sliding mechanism in it that just holds it together. I can put screws in it if I'd like. And then I'll need some power adapters. This uh, video card requires extra power. A lot of the newer ones do. More powerful ones do. And you have to connect the motherboard, give it power. There are two connectors for this particular motherboard. Yours may vary. Just sliding the connector on and it should lock. There's only one way it can go on. Now, all of these power cables are actually uh, a different type, a Molex type of plug. And I need a SATA plug. So I just get an adapter and plug it in and then I can power on this SATA hard drive, which is a faster hard drive than the the uh, PADA drives of the past, so you have faster data access. And we're also going to need a cable, a SATA cable, to transfer the data over. So, let's see.
they go in a specific way that has a little hook on it that you have to connect. Alright, so I'm going to stop the video here and uh, just connect the rest of these cables and some fans um, and I'll show you the results.